Hey guys, I stole Kairos' notes on today's video when he wasn't looking. Now I'm gonna become the best Brawl Stars pro ever! Dang you, Kairos! Ah! Warning, many new players were harmed in the making of this video. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Today we've got another very special video for you. We're gonna cover 10 skills that pro players use to crush their opponents. Now if you missed yesterday's video on 10 things that new players do that experienced players do not, make sure you check that one out because it would be embarrassing if you uh, did some of those things and didn't know about it. Like noob time. And of course guys, make sure you subscribe for future Brawl Stars tips and guides similar to this one. Now let's go ahead and start off with the first skill that pro players use to crush their their opponents and that is going to be teasing. Teasing is where you almost come out from a wall but before you do so you stop right before the enemy player could actually hit you. Oftentimes the enemy player will actually shoot off a shot towards that corner which will obviously miss you because you'll still be hiding behind the wall and this is a great thing to do especially when you are really needing to heal up or recharge your ammo because they'll attack and that will waste their ammo but it will also restart their healing clock which means that you'll be able to come back out from behind the wall when you're ready and they're still healing up and uh, don't have any ammo to take you out. Skill number two is going to be poking and kiting. Poking is where you move up to attack, fire off a shot, and then fall back. This makes it so that you are closest to the enemy player only when you are firing off your attack. And ideally, you'll actually just fall out of range of their shot so that you can actually hit them, but they won't be able to hit you. Kiting is very similar, except that you don't actually move forward to attack. You're actually just falling back while you are attacking an enemy brawler that is uh, chasing you. Due to the travel time of bullets, you can actually avoid damage while dealing damage to them because they're moving towards your bullets and you're moving away from theirs. Although brawlers like Bull or Leon can be more effective up close against most brawlers, there are even some interactions for them where kiting is actually very beneficial. For example, in a 1v1 where a Bull is facing a Bull or a Leon is facing a Leon, it's the player that kites that will actually deal more damage than the player that chases. Skill number three is going to be dancing. For certain brawlers that shoot multiple bullets over a period of time like Colt, Rico, Pam, or Leon, Dancing is an incredibly important skill to increase the amount of damage that you deal. For brawlers like this, when you're facing off an enemy player, they will oftentimes sidestep to the left or sidestep to the right to try and avoid as many bullets as possible. And dancing is where you actually follow their movement patterns exactly so that as many bullets still actually hit them as possible. You can actually use this to sweep your bullets toward an enemy brawler if your initial aim is slightly off, or even if you want to try and push an enemy brawler toward a specific direction. This does require you to pay very close attention to the enemy player and for you to have fast enough reflexes for you to mirror their movements relatively closely. The fourth skill is going to be peeking. For brawlers that attack with one quick animation for their attack, like Nita or Jesse or Brock or Poco, peeking is a very effective way to deal damage to an enemy without taking damage to yourself. This is where you peek around the corner of a wall, quickly fire off your shot, and then hide back behind the wall so that the enemy player can't hit you. When you first start to practice this, you'll probably fire a, a few shots at the wall, but if you can master the skill, you can avoid so much damage because then the enemy player is going to have to rely on perfect timing to actually take you out. And you can actually use the first skill I mentioned today, teasing, to actually make them waste their ammo. The fifth skill that pros use to take out their opponents is harassing. Harassing is where you continually deal at least some small amount of damage in order to prevent an enemy brawler from healing back up. This forces them to fall back for long periods of time so that your team can actually have an advantage. And sometimes, if you do it right, you can actually harass someone so much that you actually keep them out of battle longer than if you had taken them out and then they would have had to respawn and actually come back up to that same position. Though, it's usually a lot more effective for you to just take out an enemy brawler because then you don't have to pay attention to where they're at or worry about them actually firing off at you, and you can actually 2v1 another opponent on the enemy team. The sixth skill is going to be pinching, and maybe even a little bit of scissoring. Pinching is where you and your teammates corner an enemy between the two of you. Usually this is done by coming around a wall or something like that, but you can also do it from a long range. And when you do that, that's called scissoring, where you and your teammates actually fire off against an opponent from different angles, so that it's a lot more difficult for them to actually avoid your shots. Pinching and scissoring become incredibly important in competitive matches where players 
players are very good at staying alive for long periods of time due to their defensive gameplay. In order to get kills, competitive players typically have to take advantage of an enemy player falling back so that they can 2v1 one of their opponents either by scissoring or pinching off an enemy brawler. The seventh pro skill is spawn trapping. Spawn trapping is where you and your teammates apply a lot of pressure close to the enemy side of the map so that they cannot get out of their spawn area. Typically this is done with three brawlers that have high control value on maps where there are very few choke points that players can actually use to escape. Players have the best advantage when they have room behind them so that they can kite and poke their shots. By spawn trapping them you force them into a corner which removes a lot of their movement options. My one suggestion is for you to be very careful when you are spawn trapping an enemy team because if you aren't very careful they can take one of you out and once one of you guys get taken out it's very easy for the entire thing to fall to pieces. Baiting is the eighth skill that pro players use to take out their enemy opponents. Baiting is where you purposefully fake weakness, uh, like you're falling back because you will have a low amount of HP, close to where your teammate is actually hiding in a bush. Ideally, the enemy player will actually chase after you, and then your teammate can come out of the bush and just blast them in the face. If the enemy team is not falling for it though, you actually may want to give up, and the reason why is because the longer your teammate is just sitting there waiting in a bush, the longer your team will end up getting 3v2'd, which is not a position that you want to be in. As a side note, you can also bait brawlers with bows a super. Pro skill number nine is going to be flanking or ganking. This is where you sneak up to the sides of an enemy player, or you actually get behind them by using the bushes, or just like when they're not paying attention. And then you come and attack them when they're not expecting it. If the enemy team is paying attention and they know that you are there coming in from different directions, forces them to deal with you or fall back until they can deal with you. If they're not paying attention, there's a good chance that you'll be able to corner them or catch them off guard with a Shelly super. Lastly, we've got pro skill number 10 and that is going to be juking. Juking is an essential skill in Brawl Stars where you seemingly walk in random directions so that it is super hard for your enemy players to predict where you're going to be moving. Now really skilled players will pay attention to the enemy's juking patterns and actually adapt to that. So the most advanced players will actually have two or three different juking patterns that they'll switch around in mid-match so that it is impossible for you to predict where they're going to move. This is especially important to do not just so that you actually avoid taking damage, but also so that the enemy player actually wastes their ammo, which can give you an ammo advantage. I want to know which of these 10 pro skills are your favorite to use, as well as if there are other pro skills that I didn't mention in this video. Make sure you drop them in the comment section below and like your favorite comments as well. That way less experienced players can learn from your great wisdom. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a Kairos Kingdom Discord server with a lot of really fun ways for you to interact with other fans, as well as a lot of artists that create a lot of great Brawl Stars fan art that you guys definitely want to check out. I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and my Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.